students. In this video, you will be learning about omega oxidation of fat. So let us know what omega oxidation is. It is the oxidation of omega carbon and it is a process of fatty acid metabolism in some animals and humans who are diabetic and is a condition of starvation and in microorganisms like bacteria and fungi. So let us take the example of lauric acid to understand omega oxidation. So where is this omega carbon present in the fatty acid chain? It is the distant carbon from the carboxylic end. Lauric acid is dual carbon length fatty acid. Therefore, the dual carbon is the omega carbon. And the oxidation of this omega carbon is called as omega oxidation. So, you have already learned about alpha oxidation as well as beta oxidation. Alpha carbon is the carbon which is present adjacent to carboxylic end and beta carbon is the one which is present adjacent to the alpha carbon. Alpha carbon, alpha oxidation takes place in the peroxisomes, beta oxidation takes place in the mitochondria and omega oxidation takes place in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum of liver and kidney. So it is a minor catabolic pathway seen in the fatty acids which are of medium to long chain fatty acids and it occurs only when there is beta oxidation is defective. That is due to either mutation or due to chemical deficiency. Now let us uh, know about the steps of omega oxidation of fatty acids. So the first step in omega oxidation is the introduction of a hydroxyl group onto the omega carbon. So there is introduction of OH to the lauric acid to form fatty alcohol. So this is carried out by a, a, the mixed function oxidase where it is a complex reaction that involves cytochrome P450 and the electron donor NADPH. Now, in the next step, the fatty alcohol is converted to fatty aldehyde. It is an oxidization process where alcohol dehydrogenase oxidizes the hydroxyl group to an aldehyde group. So there is synthesis of energy here in this step. NADH is produced in this reaction. Further, in the next step, fatty aldehyde is further oxidized to uh, form dicarboxylic acid. That is by the enzyme aldehyde dehydrogenase. Here also there is synthesis of NADH. So it, this is energy synthesis. Step. Here you can observe that there are two carboxylic groups present in the fatty acid. Therefore, it is called as fatty dicarboxylic acid. Now, from here, either end can be attached to coenzyme A. So, you can see that the fatty acyl CoA synthetase attaches. CoA to the uh, fatty dicarboxylic acid to form fatty acyl CoA. From here onwards, the beta oxidation takes place. So, uh, like either it can yield the uh, succinic acid, which can either enter into which can enter into a citric acid cycle, or it can also produce adipic acid. The significance of this omega oxidation is it is a subsidiary pathway for beta oxidation of fatty acids when the beta oxidation is blocked. 